Well, hello everybody. How is everything today? Oh boy, I'm back out. Uh, it's a pretty overcast Saturday afternoon. Uh, it's around uh, 2.30, quarter to 3. Anyway, I decided to uh, come back out and give it another go. And today I'm at a location that uh, I've been to a number of times before. Uh, it's called Stony Run. And I decided to try and do something a little bit different today. Uh, I decided to try and uh, try my hand at maybe a little bit of abstract woodland photography. Uh, not necessarily just trees in their uh, vertical extensions and things of that nature, but uh, perhaps taking shots of things that are a bit more intimate, uh, getting closer to the subject uh, to bring out detail, and perhaps uh, getting some, si some sort of an abstract uh, look out of the image itself. I'm looking at uh, a number of possibilities here. So hopefully I can come up with something. Uh, that's one thing that I, I believe I've said before in some of my other videos. Uh, there's no such thing as there's nothing to photograph. There's always something available. It's just a matter of actually finding it and uh, photographing it and processing it in a way that, in a way that works. So that's going to be what my, uh, what my endeavor is today. So I'm going to scout around a little bit and see exactly what I can come up with. I found my first composition. Uh, I've got a tree right here uh, that's fallen over and it has a very interesting uh, uh, pattern here going all through. Uh, the ridges and the furrows are actually waving and you can see a little notch right here. Uh, it looks like there was probably a branch here at some, uh, at some time or other and uh, we've got overcast right now. And I'm using a polarizing filter, so it's really bringing out, uh, eliminating what little glare there is and bringing out the rich uh, texture in the wood. And I thought this was a very interesting pattern, and I'm going to go ahead and photograph this. All right, my initial settings on this are, uh, see, one third of a second f-stop 14, ISO 64. And as I said, I'm using a polarizing filter to, uh, to enhance the colors in the wood. And hopefully this should be a, a really, relatively good abstract image. Okay, let's see. I'm pretty close. I'm actually focused in at 70 millimeters from this distance. So it's a very tight, uh, almost a macro shot well, with this uh, 28 to 70 millimeter lens. So I'm going to go ahead and take this shot and, uh, and see exactly what I get with it. I have the composition set up. And as I said earlier, see I've got an exposure of uh, uh, one and one third of a second, f-stop 14 at ISO 64. And I'm going to take that shot now. Mirror lockup. Okay. And let's zoom in at 100% and check that out and see what it looks like. Okay, we've got nice detail on that. I'm going to take a couple more shots 
and uh, see what I get with these. I'm going to shoot this as usual from a couple more diff couple different angles and uh, see what I come up with. I don't like to put all of my eggs in one basket, so uh, I will be taking multiple shots. And I'll be off to the next composition after that. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I want right now, but I do, I do see a couple, uh, couple spots right now that do have potential. So, I'll be back in a few. You know, after a considerable amount of uh, scouting around, I found my next composition. Uh, there's another fallen tree that's here. It's in the same general area where I was uh, last week. Uh, minor problem right now. The sun is coming out and it's peeking out from the clouds. It looks like the clouds are beginning to break up. It was supposed to be uh, cloudy all day today, but uh, well, so much for our weather forecasts. So I'm going to try and wait for the sun to go behind the clouds before I take this shot. But uh, right now, uh, it looks like Mother Nature isn't cooperating and I'm getting a lot of sunlight. So if I take the photograph as is now, it's not going to be anywhere near what I uh, had anticipated. The previous shot was uh, under, <clears throat> under complete overcast and uh, that was much more preferable to this. So right now, I think it's just a waiting game. And I will wait and see if the sun will go behind the clouds again. Uh, it looks like there are some more clouds rolling in. So I'm going to wait it out and see what happens. Well, unfortunately, the sun simply does not want to cooperate. Uh, the, the weather forecast was obviously very way off. But I was able to get a fire off a couple of shots uh, during some brief periods where the sun did go behind the clouds. Uh, one shot that I got, what I decided to do was rearrange the composition altogether. What I did was I moved in a bit further and right here, there's this little uh, cluster of uh, little nodules here all on the tree. And what I've done is I've uh, zoomed in, I'd see I'm at about, uh, about 55 millimeters. And I fired off a few shots here during those brief periods where the sun did go behind the clouds. So the pattern is extremely uh, exquisite here. Uh, it's very unique. And uh, hopefully that will turn out to be a relatively good shot. I found a composition here. I'm photographing the texture on this tree right here. Uh, as with the last shot, it has a pretty interesting uh, pattern here. A lot of furrows and it's very wavy. And we also have a contrast in colors here. We've got actually a grayish type color uh, within the wood. And we also have a reddish area here. Looks like, uh, I don't know, looks like it could be a little bit of clay, perhaps. But uh, I doubt that, but it does appear to be. And uh, I'm going to photograph that now. And uh, this might be a pretty good shot once I get back and process it. Okay. All right, as you can see, I have an exposure of uh, 1.6 seconds at f-stop 14, ISO 64. Okay, I'm going to uh, make just a slight adjustment here to the exposure. Uh, I like to underexpose just slightly. Obviously, we don't have any real highlights.
Actually, I think I'll leave it right there. That looks good. And I'll go ahead and take that shot. 1.6 seconds, f-stop 14. Mirror lockup. Okay. Now let's zoom in at 100% and see what I've got here. All right, that looks good. Nice detail. Okay, I think that might be a winner. Alright, I've come across what's going to be my last composition for the day. Uh, I'm losing most of the light right now, and, uh, but I'm getting nice even illumination all over, which is, which is nice. Earlier, uh, the sun interfered by peeking its head through the clouds and uh, basically kind of ruining some of the shots that uh, I was in the process of getting ready to take. But if you look here, You'll see we have uh, the remnants of some old branches that are falling, and uh, they're pretty badly decayed. And if you look here, they've fallen behind this new, new tree, this new growth that's coming up, and it's actually holding all of these up. And if you look at the arrangement, you have one here, you have the remnants of a, uh, of a tree here, and the remnants on top of that. And if you look, they're curving downward and that caught my eye uh, as I was passing by it. Uh, we also have some very interesting textures uh, on the remnants of these branches as well. All right, I have the composition set up and uh, I'm going to take actually three shots. Okay, right now I'm zoomed in at about 70 millimeters. I'm relatively close and obviously when you're zoomed in, depth of field is going to be compromised. So I'm going to take actually three shots. I'm going to take one shot for this branch here. I'm going to take one shot for the branch here and one shot for the branch on top. And I will, uh, I will uh, focus blend all of those together in Photoshop later. All right, so I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing now. All right, I have the composition all set up here. And I'm going to focus first focus first for this area, the tree, just to the right. So what I'm going to do is I will bring my focusing point over. Zoom in at 100%. Focus, zoom out, and take the exposure. Now we've got five seconds at about f-stop 14. That's the first shot. All right, the second shot will be for the tree right in the center, or the branch right in the center, I should say. So we'll come there, zoom in at 100%, and focus. Zoom out. Five seconds again. There's the second exposure. And the left, third and final exposure will be for the tree on the far left. Zoom in at 100% and focus. Zoom out. Five seconds again, that's F14, ISO 64. All right, 
and that's done. I think that turned out to be a relatively uh, productive afternoon. It didn't seem like it was going to go that well after I took the first shot, but uh, things did look up. Uh, there's just one thing to remember. Sometimes don't be too hasty. Sometimes waiting is, uh, is extremely important. And in landscape photography, waiting is very important because uh, conditions change from sometimes five minutes to the next. Uh, as it did today. Uh, it went from overcast to sunny. But I waited and within 30 minutes we began to get some overcast again and actually the sun began to uh, was beginning to set and get closer to the horizon which made it possible for me to get some of the, uh, the shots that I just did. So thank you for tuning into my channel and as always if you've enjoyed the video please don't hesitate to comment, like, and please subscribe. Okay, until next time.